Welcome to episode 109 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today's episode got hijacked by COVID 19, and I'm going to tell you why. We're making our way through the fog of life, and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I was all teed up to continue my recent string of episodes that deal with leadership and company culture and relationships and blame and sarcasm. And last week talked about how to stop all the wasted effort trying to convince unconvincible people. Now, the next episode in line was the earth-shaking power of an apology, and we'll get to that. But with the importance of the past week's events and the the sheer weight of the last week and actually like the last 24 to 48 hours, I wanted to hit the pause button on the other topics and take a moment to check in with you on what's turning out to be a novel but a very finite event. And of course, you know what I'm talking about. It's the coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19. And if you're a human on planet Earth, you are following the developing story of the current pandemic. And so the theme of what I'm talking about today is basically the theme that calm heads, a calm mind, a calm demeanor prevails. It always does. It always has. Now, when I say that, I don't speak down to anyone who is freaking out at all different levels. It's okay. I have empathy for that. I mean, there are a complete wide range of reactions to what's going on right now. And those considerations involve your age. They involve your location, um, you know, your state of health, who you live with. Do you have elderly people living with you or not? Or do you come in contact? I understand all that. Very, 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 I don't know, very relevant considerations. And probably the widest range of reactions to, to all this stuff that's going on, probably the widest range has to do with your personality. So me, this is going to be a really big surprise. Get ready for it. But I am generally an optimistic minimizer. You know people like this. Maybe you are a person like this. If so, I understand you. You're like, well, let's just be optimistic about this. Let's be glass half full. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you start to minimize things that you shouldn't, but a lot of the time you put things in their rightful place by not overemphasizing their importance, right? The opposite of this would obviously be a maximizer, opposite end of the spectrum, minimizer on one side, maximizer on the other side. And I'm not even going to go optimistic, pessimistic. It could be like optimistic, realistic, or whatever. Minimizer on one side, maximizer on the other side. Um, so, I mean, if you know about relationships or marriage, if I'm an optimistic minimizer, what do you think my wife is? You got it. She tends to be like, hey, let's just play this out to the worst possible scenario and that has actually helped her, benefited her through her life in a lot of ways. So we really balance each other out in that. So I want to just tell you that I understand both sides of that. You understand what I mean. So I'm, I'm framing it up in terms of, you know, perspective, right? These are the different perspectives and these are the, the wide range of things that we're dealing with. And when I talk about clarity, so some clarity, COVID clarity, if you will, is this clarity I've been framing up in terms of perspective saying it's the you are here on the map. Clarity is perspective. It's understanding where you've come from. It's understanding where you're going and it's understanding where you are on that journey. When you can understand those things, then you have clarity. And when you have clarity, you have calm. Let me, let me, let me explain. So what do you think your reaction would be if I said to you, and you knew it was true, I said two weeks from today, the COVID-19 virus would be on a steep decline. Two weeks from today, you're going to see it. COVID virus on steep decline, like things are looking good. I think your reaction to either of those would be really overwhelmingly positive. 
I think you would feel relieved. I think that you would feel um, like there was a weight off your chest. I think that you would stop buying so much toilet paper and we could get back to using toilet paper to throw over our neighbor's trees. Why? Why would you start feeling better immediately and buying less toilet paper and starting to like, you know, the stock market would start to go up again? Why would that happen? Well, I think it's because people would have clarity, aka perspective, on where they are in the journey. We've just defined where we are in relation to the end of this virus, and now we could make sense. We could make sense of it. So either with two weeks or two months or whatever it is, that's what happens. But let me remind you, and let me speak some truth into this. It's, this is going to end. It's going to end. I don't know if it's two weeks or two months or whatever. It is going to end. It's easy to forget about that when you're in the middle of it. You feel like it's never going to end. So the health risks are there. Let's talk about um, the economic risks. Like these are reasons to freak out. These are reasons to buy toilet paper. The economic risk is real. And we see that in the stock market. We see it in um, the president's address the other night, like they taking economic um, action, right, to hold the economy up. Now, we do have a great economy. We've been strong. Job market's great. So we're very resilient right now. But there is a trickle-down effect. And my business is, is a marketing agent, branding and marketing agency. So when I think about it, like the economy, the economic impact is real. It's not real yet, but it could get very real. I've decided in this situation, so a little COVID clarity, I've decided to have an attack mindset in this time when we're talking about decentralizing and disassociating and not going to public places and the economy and the health threat. In the time where everyone's talking about that, I said, I and my business are going to have an attack mindset. How can I use this situation? How can I take this situation that's been given to me and use it to become an indispensable part of my client's business, an indispensable resource. I want to be the last person that they would ever think to ask to scale back or leave their business because I'm such a part of their success, not only in marketing, advertising, but business development, company culture, motivation, optimism. That actually has an effect. So I decided on this. So we have already gone to work strategizing tactics. How can we gain market share? There isn't a single thing that I can change about COVID-19. There's not a single thing I can change about the economic situation. There isn't a single thing I can change about any decision the government makes. There isn't a single thing I can change about how much toilet paper is left in the grocery store when I get there. I can't change any of those things. What I can change and what you can change is your reaction and response to it. You get to choose your mentality. You get to choose whether you're going to be calm or whether you're going to panic. You're going to get to choose whether you fill your mind with other people who say, hey, let's figure out a way through this or associate with the people that freak out and give in to the fear and let that steer the ship. Don't do that. Choose clarity. Choose wisely. Choose to be a calm mind. If you are a leader, this is your moment to be a source of stability and courage. If you're a company, this is your chance to be a source of stability and courage for your customers. If you're a parent, this is a chance for you to be the source of stability and courage for your family. And if you're a citizen of this country, this is your opportunity to be a source of level-headedness, of courage, and stability for your fellow citizens. COVID clarity, this is going to end. Calm minds prevail. You get to choose, and I hope you join me in choosing the good things and the things of progress. Love the people that are closest to you. Lead well, be a source of courage and stability. Until I see you next time. Talk to you soon. Yeah.